match on the south coast, Martin Scott picked the team as caretaker manager. I think a lot of the lads uh, found it hard to call him Gaffey, you know, because uh, for so long I've known him as Scotty or Martin, but um, I don't think he's changed uh, from his point of view, but uh, a few of the lads were finding it difficult with a new name. I felt we deserved to be in the playoffs and we deserved to finish in the top six and, and OK, it's easy to speak after the game, uh, but I was total belief and fully confident that players would go down the Bournemouth and get the right result. He wanted the experience, you know, just to try and help the younger lads out in the team and, and try and shout and, and push people around out there for, for the, what was a big game, you know, so I was delighted just to get back involved and uh, obviously delighted that he put a bit of trust in me and, and my ability. It came down to the last game and then we, we said, you know, that's it. Uh, it's 90 minutes, we've got we to gotta do it and at the end we did it. The target was straightforward. Hartlepool needed only to draw to guarantee the playoffs. Bournemouth had to win to take Poole's sixth place in the table and they took a first half lead. It's aimed forward by Robson and Daly's on the end of it and Daly's header has crept it off the post and Hartlepool a level. Matty Robson's cross and what a time to score your first senior goal for Hartlepool. Bournemouth's corner, whipped in. There's James Hayter again, he's got another free header. Butler, twisting and turning. Butler puts the ball across, Anthony Sweeney! And the ball post, Anthony Sweeney! And this could be the goal that gets Poole back in the playoffs. Tommy Butler went down the left wing, uh, cut back, which is a tricky player and you can always do. And um, he's floated onto the back stick and I can remember getting on the end of it, but I thought I thought I was going to get challenged, but we didn't seem to be anyone there anywhere near me. It's nice to score in part and goals, but I don't think there's a, a bad time to score any goal. But um, if it had been just a, uh, one of the other lads that had scored, I'd have been just as happy.